fair, honest, demanding. That's head coach Tom Coughlin, the man who laid the foundation for a winner in Jacksonville. Preaching discipline and hard work, he and his young team learned together, grew together, and respected one another. As the Jaguars' quest continued in Buffalo, they saw the light at the end of the tunnel. And that light signaled the team's first venture into postseason play. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the House of Horrors. Rich Stadium in Buffalo, New York. No playoff team has ever come into this stadium and walked away with a victory. The Jaguars are looking to topple the Bills dynasty and start a brand new tradition, one of the Jacksonville Jaguars. Clearly, if the Jaguars won this game, it would be against all odds. No kids. Everybody stay there. In Jim Kelly's final game, the Bills wasted little time by scoring two first-quarter touchdowns. The Jaguars went three and out on their first three possessions, but the defense answered with wit and grit. Kelly to throw again on first down under pressure, shuffled pass, and it's picked off! Clyde's got it at the 20! He's at the 15! He's at the 10! He's at the 5! Clyde Simmons, touchdown Jaguars! What a defensive play by Clyde Simmons! The Jaguars own the number one passing offense in the NFL. The question was, could they run the ball? The answer was a natron bomb named Means. He's gone! They cross 15, 10, down inside the 5 to the 4-yard line of Buffalo! Means. 62-yard run set up a field goal that closed the gap to four points. The Jaguars then got down to the serious business of running the ball through the heart of the Bills' defense. 40, 45, 50. Stays on his feet. 45, 40. Breaks a tackle. 35. And down at the 30 of Buffalo. Well, wear their ass out. Way to go. One more first down, baby. Come on, big mate. There's the snap, the handoff. Natron wants to cut it up, waits patiently, breaks a tackle, he's at the 30. Natron, 25, 20, he's gone. He's at the 10, the 5, touchdown Jacksonville. Holy smokes, talk about putting it in your face. My goodness, two big plays in a row. The first one to Pete Mitchell, breaking tackles. And then Natron Means coming up with the 30-yarder. Caught in the backfield, Brian. And the Jaguars have their first lead of the game. 30. That's the way you play, just like that. That's what I'm talking about. Hey, that was Bruce Smith. You talking about first time. Yes, that Bruce Smith, the NFL's defensive MVP. A brilliant blocking scheme neutralized the nine-time All-Pro. Going head-to-head -head with left tackle and pro bowler Tony Baselli, left Smith with just three tackles and no sacks. Equally inspired, the defense shut down a Bills offense that managed just three second-half points. But all the efforts of the defense may have gone for naught when, with a score tied at 20, near disaster struck. The ball is tipped and it's intercepted! It's intercepted by Urban! He's gone! He's into the end zone for a touchdown! Well, that'll stun you. Down by seven in the fourth quarter, the Jaguars responded with a defining moment. A 65-yard drive that brought the ball to the Buffalo two-yard line. Third goal for the two. Brunel in the shotgun will throw, go screen, Jimmy Smith will get into the end zone, touchdown Jacksonville! The beginning of the end for the Buffalo Bills came five plays later. Pass time, pass time, Lagerman coming, he ducks under, he loses the ball, and he will pick it up and run! Kelly running, will be caught, clock, loses the ball! The Jaguars have recovered a fumble by Jim Kelly! Field goal attempt will be from 45 yards in a swirling win by Mike Collins. The snap, the place with the kick is up. It's got plenty of distance. Get in there, get in there. Yeah. It's good. Here we go. 
With their arrival in Denver, the Jacksonville Jaguars were welcomed with a distinct lack of respect. This time from the Denver media. The Jaguars took the challenge to heart, and the game played out in typical Jaguars fashion. In the opening period, the Jaguars were, once again, forced to play catch-up. With the best record in the NFL, the Broncos ran up a quick 12 to nothing lead before the Jaguars got a first down. But the complexion of the game changed once the Jaguars got their balance and Natron Means got his hands on the ball. In the second period alone, number 20 picked up 60 yards on the ground and 29 more through the air. Pocket to his left, lofting it downfield, looking for Natron. Natron makes the catch at the 46-yard line of Denver. With means carrying the load, the Jaguars netted two field goals and a touchdown and a 13-12 halftime lead. Keep it on! The Jacksonville defense kept the heat on the NFL's number one offense and held the Broncos scoreless in the third quarter. For the second time in two weeks, Jacksonville's band of home wreckers came into an opponent's house and took it down. One big play at a time. Downfield looking for Keenan in the end zone. Makes the catch. Touchdown, Jaguars. Touchdown, Jacksonville. Touchdown, Jacksonville. 31 yards from Mark Brunel to Keenan McCardle. Touchdown, Jacksonville. Let's stay with the man get those yeah, people out with you. Toughness and tenacity define the identity of each and every Jaguar who teamed up to make their mark at mile high. Take the field goal, making an 11 pointer. Yeah, man. They need yeah. two scores, right? Hey, man. Come on. The Broncos got one of those scores and still had hope if they could stop the Jaguars and get the ball back. But on this day and for the seventh week in a row, Keep the Jaguars would not be stopped as they took off on their final scoring drive. With his magic cleats and Hollywood escapes, Mark Brunel has become the most dangerous weapon in the sport. Just ask the Denver Broncos. 37-436. Can the Jaguars make something happen? Pressure coming. He's jumping out to the near side. Pump action. Cuts across the 50. He's at the 40. Mark Brunel running to the far side left. Turns the corner. Mark Brunel with a masterful run. The run may have broken the Broncos' back and their spirit as well. It also brought the Jaguars to Destiny's doorstep. Is this great or what? Facing third and five at the Denver 16 with 3.44 to play, the Jaguars made a dramatic final statement. And it was one from the heart. Throw everything out the window at 3.44 on the clock, and it's the biggest play of the game for the Jaguars in this third down play. Brian, if they can't convert, the clock's just going to keep going, and they'll be at the mercy of Elway. Mark at the line of scrimmage. Takes the count, takes the snap, turns, looking for Jimmy in the end zone. Touchdown, Jaguars! Touchdown, Jaguars! Touchdown, Jaguars! done the improbable. Nobody gave him a shot last week. Nobody gave him a shot this week. Less than two years earlier, they were newborn, just learning to walk. Now, in the biggest game in their brief history, the Jacksonville Jaguars ran the race of their lives, making claim to the most stunning playoff upset in 28 years. In 1997, the Jaguars' quest for even greater success will go on. And with success will come greater challenges. Now, more than ever, the Jacksonville Jaguars are prepared to meet those challenges. With character, determination, and the heart of a champion.
new Edge Pro Gel presents the Jacksonville Jaguars ultimate performance of 1996. Not many people gave the Jacksonville Jaguars a chance in their playoff contest with the Denver Broncos. Running back Natron Means pounded his way through the Bronco defense for 140 yards. Quarterback Mark Brunel's second touchdown pass of the day to wide receiver Jimmy Smith gave the Jags a lead they would not relinquish. Jacksonville shocked Denver 30-27 and advanced to the AFC Championship game.